All right. Hey, everyone. It's official. 2020 is finally coming to an end. Uh, this year wasn't great for most of us. In fact, I'd probably say it was the worst year for a lot of people. Well, not me, though. This year has ironically been the best of my life. How can you say such a thing, you might ask? And overall, I guess it's just that I had more positive experiences than negative experiences. I can list a few of them off the top of my head, such as graduating high school, getting my driver's license. I had a job even though I only worked two days. Don't get the dishwasher job, kids. Stick with, stick with retail. I've played a lot of uh, great games like Doom and Post Void, so opening my interests in gaming is definitely a plus. I now have a supportive friend group who's always willing to understand me and help me out. And my true passion, which is animation, has finally been discovered, and I'm currently pursuing it in the best way possible. I finished my first semester of college, and I had the best birthday party of my life. I'm, current, I'm now 18, finally an adult. Now these things may not seem like much, but that's not really the point. The point is, is that the positive experiences allowed me to see more light in this year than darkness, which most people will mostly saw darkness because of the, the pandemic and politics and other shit I'm not going to talk about. However, Isle wasn't lost. Mankind has adapted and thrived to the harsh realm of Earth since the discovery of fire. This stuff didn't happen over time, guys. Man had numerous fruitless attempts to solve a problem over the span of several thousand years. But now, we were able to do what we weren't able to do previously when an outbreak like this happened. The Spanish flu has taken a bevy of human lives before we were able to find a vaccine around 30 years later. Millions of people died as a result. You see, Corona has also left a dent in the human population. But we got the vaccines out in just under a year. This is by far the fastest a vaccine has ever been created. While many of us have lost our lives and loved ones to this pandemic, those of us who survived will hopefully get to live the rest of their lives without any fear. Mankind has always been triumphant. We've survived far worse than 2020. In fact, a lot of good things happened in 2020 to undermine the fact that we're currently under a global pandemic. All right, so firstly, Animal Crossing New Horizons and Doom Eternal were released. I can't exactly remember when, but I do know that Doom Guy and Isabel just made this long-lasting friendship just because their games were supposed to release on the same day. I have no idea why that happened, but I'm glad it did. And Doom Eternal, it's become one of, if not the most successful first-person shooter of this year. Millions of people have downloaded it. It's a great game. And just yesterday, I was finally able to play it through the power of my Nintendo Switch. Yeah, Nintendo's finally making good games that are actually worth 60 bucks. And it just goes to show you how amazing it is as a company. I mean, Doom Eternal runs even better than its predecessor, which is Doom 2016. Doom 2016 was not a bad game by any means. It was amazing. It's a great reboot for the series, but Doom Eternal took everything 2016 did and slapped on the classics. Everything was redesigned to look more like the original Doom. Some of the monster designs I'm not a huge fan of. They look a bit too toyish, but Doom has always had that 80s action cartoon art style, and I appreciate it that they brought that back. Then there was the Animaniacs reboot. Now, I ha now the first I heard of the Animaniacs was through a YouTube poop. It was a cut part of the intro. That's all I remember. I gave up trying to find that YouTube poop, but I'm certainly hoping that YouTube poops make a big comeback this year. They were something that's really funny. Of course, there's not a lot of time left because I'm recording this on the 31st of December. But, anyways, the Animaniacs reboot, it was... All my thoughts inside of a cartoon regarding society. <laughs> and the thing I like about it is that it can be enjoyed by anybody. Younger audiences can enjoy the fact that it's a silly cartoon about anthropomorphic animals going on absurdly stupid adventures. Um, and they've even snuck in some subtle adult jokes that anybody can enjoy. 
Well, not anybody, but you get my point. Um, apparently, it was a very influential cartoon in the 90s. I have watched a l little bit of it, and uh, I guess that's what the 90s was like back then. Man, we were, we were, we were really back. We were, we were really something in the 90s. Now, what's amazing about the reboot is not the fact that the animation is more modernized or, you know, the fact that it's on Hulu. I don't even know why that's important, but I assumed it was important. Uh, what's amazing about it is that they brought back the original voice actors for the Warner children, Yako, Wacko, and Princess Angelina, Contessa, Luisa, Francesca, Banana, Fana, Bobesca, the third. <sighs> Jesus, mouthful. Or, or simply Dot. There were some minor adjustments made to the cartoon. They cut out most of the characters who were part of uh, the original, which to me, I'm kind of glad they did that. They focused more on the three main characters because, you know, they were a big part of the intro. All the uh, other characters seem to be superfluous. But I thought it was just going to be another silly Tom and Jerry reboot, and the reboot wasn't that good for Tom and Jerry. But then I saw that they mentioned everything I disliked about, you know, modern society. Gender fluidity, not trying to be, like, homophobic or anything. Gender fluidity, uh, gender balance, and different ethnicities. It's so weird. And the Animaniacs is probably the only reboot that's, you know, really done this well. I'd have to say it's almost as good as Doom Eternal or Doom 2016, but I decided to watch a little bit of the Animaniacs for myself. I wasn't disappointed. The dialogue is just so well written, it was able to get a few chuckles out of me. And this is the guy who's constantly pessimistic and angry. These things are nothing compared to the utter bullshit that's happened in the last 365 days. But when you learn to appreciate them for what they are, and not hate them for what they aren't, you'll find very little to be upset about, as anything you're upset about this year is likely something everybody else is upset about this year. Unfortunately, not all of us can relate to this. You know, there are people who have been greatly affected because they lost a family member due to COVID or currently dying from COVID. I don't know. If you are one of those people, you have my condolences. Just remember that your life does matter. It's not black lives matter or all lives matter. It's your own life matters. You know, there's this one saying that I've always thought about, but I never had the words to say until now. So I'm going to say it right now. As I've stated multiple times before, you should accept yourself for who you are rather than complain about who you want to be or who you're not. You are the only you you'll ever get. Before you can accept anyone else, you need to accept yourself for what you are. Now I know for a fact that I'm a man most girls don't want. Short, loud, autistic, but that doesn't mean I won't get things I want in life. After all, I'll never get what I want if I'm not myself. But who am I? What kind of person will I be until my life inevitably ends? This is a question I can't answer completely. Not yet. Who knows if I'll ever be able to answer it. I know I'm some white dude named Bobby, but that's about all I know. I'm just a pair of hands from my perspective. Well, hence my channel name. But the question that statement gives off is, who is Bobby? I can't answer that fully, like I said. However, I know Bobby is a lot of things. Bobby is an individual who possesses issues that sometimes get the better of him. However, he never gives up on anyone until he knows they're not worth his time. Despite his silence, Bobby speaks volumes when people know his intentions and how far he'll go to fulfill them. Bobby messages people not to stalk or seek attention, but rather he knows there's a real human being on the other side of that screen. And wants to make sure you're doing alright. You know, he wants to make sure he can help in any way possible. White or black, short or tall, boy or girl slim or fat, whatever. You matter to Bobby, but you can't matter to Bobby if you aren't you. Like, you'll never be you if you're not yourself. You are the only you you'll ever get, and one day you'll be nothing. Everything you know will vanish in the blink of an eye. 
Use the time God has given you to be the best you you can be. Run that extra mile. Tell him or her how you feel. Let your friends know you care about them. Make a new friend every day. Hell, even get them together with some old friends you may not have talked to in a while. But most importantly, know that it's alright to know what you want. And it's okay to be sad about it for a little bit. But it's important that you appreciate yourself for what you are. With that being said, let's hope 2021 is a better year. Have a good night, everybody.